You already know how I feel, bro. You know what I'm saying? To this nigga don't feel that way. Look how this nigga talking. He like, you already know. I fuck with you, bro. Like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That nigga don't even want to say that shit. Like, that shit barely coming out his throat. <laughs> What's good, Dollar Squad? It's your girl, me, Dollar Sign. I am back once again, guys, with another video. And today, we got another video coming straight. Loud effect to y'all. And today, guys, today, y'all. You see how I just did that switch up, though? Like, uh, you feel me? I'm almost tugging my whole throat on the other nigga. nigga. Y'all, today we will be reacting to Malik the Truth. Okay, now y'all know I reacted to the last video with Pretty Boy Fredo basically like scamming people. Like I told y'all, that nigga still owe me my cut. You feel me for cleaning that nigga's shoes? But we ain't gonna talk about that. So today we got Malik on the microphone. He about to go in ahead and spill the tea. I already know he is. So make sure you guys give this video two thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn y'all post notifications on so you guys know five for every single video. And without further ado, y'all, we finna get straight into this video. Hey y'all, get what though? We hit 10,000 subscribers, nigga. Yeah, y'all go tap me into my last video. Hey, this nigga Malik, he cute. Mm. Mm. Huh, hey. I gotta address this, man, because I feel like this is a really big thing. And the whole reason I made this video is because of this. I just want to start this video by saying sorry to my supporters, to my friends. And most importantly, my family. Ever since the group broke up, I didn't really want to make content. I didn't want to chill with my friends. I didn't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Wow. All I did was focus on my businesses. Uh, and that's about it. I didn't talk to Fredo for eight months. I didn't talk to... Eight months? Wasn't these niggas like best friends? Eight months is crazy. You know you done with somebody when you stop talking to them for eight months? Damn. Wasn't he like a fan of Pretty Boy, Pre of, of Pretty Boy Fredo, like, before all of this stuff? Because like I told you, I really didn't watch them. But, like, I would see certain videos and I, like, you know, watch it. And I, re I remember him, though. I remember him. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It's Barry and Cam that much either. Like, I talk to them every every other day and then it just gradually, I stopped talking to them as well. YouTube Damn. was my passion, my life. <laughs> Um, I love this career, you know what I'm saying? So when all the falling out happened and stuff, like it just put me in a bad spot where I was like, damn, like all this over some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Let's start from the beginning. So the reason SSH broke up, nothing that no one knows. Uh, I didn't want to sign a contract, bro. It was 15% and at the time I didn't understand it. I didn't agree with it. And the other guys were ready to sign and Fredo was like, uh, if you don't sign this contract, we can't do videos. Like, nigga, what? Contract or what? Nigga, fuck your video, nigga. I'm not about to sign my life right now, nigga. Good job, nigga. We not signing no paper so you can take my money, no, nigga. What? You're not about to take my money. That don't even what? You already a scammer. Why would I want to sign you? He wanted 15%. I didn't want to give him. We got to add. Yeah, that's crazy though. Why would I want to sign to somebody so they can get half of my check? Nigga, you're not putting in this work. No. I don't give a fuck if you gave me subscribers. No. Fuck. Do that shit out your heart. And I did. Give him 15%. So, boom. We stopped doing videos. Just like that. And, like, starting that nigga cut. around that time is when everything just started going downhill. Like, so, uh, he didn't want to do videos. Uh, Bari made exposed videos and everything. I watched just that all one. went our separate ways. You guys don't know this, but I own four businesses and I own two houses. Do Airbnbs, e-commerce. Like I kind of just gravitated toward that lane because I already. My man out here getting money, nigga. Get paid on me. Get paid on. Uh -huh. Get paid on me. Get paid been doing those things people we worked with when he filmed this show and also cam and stuff like that i'll have to remember i haven't talked to fredo in eight months i just started talking to this nigga again like two months ago you know what i'm saying so i don't know how bro moving i don't know what's going on i don't know if this is true or not i'm hearing it just like y'all i'm hearing shit just like y'all you know uh bro say this i'm watching a video i'm i'm listening to it i'm seeing what bro said bro say this i'm watching his video i'm seeing what he said but bro i don't know <laughs> like, I don't be around like that. Like, I see all these comments like, Malik, say something, say something, say something, say something, say something. I, I don't know what y'all want me to say, man. Nigga, we want the truth. My nigga, what you mean? 
spill that shit. Why are you trying to hold it in? Nigga, I want that tea, nigga. I'm sorry. All I can speak on is my experiences and, and things that I have went through or things that um, have happened to me. I can't speak on another man's situation and that's what all these other situations are. I'm not defending anybody. I feel like if, if you make mistakes, you should own up to your actions. If you do something, you should Definitely. own up to it. And 100%. That's, that's just being a man, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said... 100%. If you know you did something wrong and you steady trying to play victim like you didn't, you're sad. Like... At that point, like, you just took it to a whole nother level. Like, that's one thing I hate when, like, people, they be knowing they dead wrong, and they still try to convince themselves that they not. Like, my nigga. Just dumb sh These things are true. I feel like bro should own up to it. I feel like he should be a man and accept it and move on because that's what men do, you know? Like, just address it and move on. That's all you gotta do, man. You gravitate away from drama, and that's why y'all never see me in any of these situations. It's not good for me. I remove myself from that situation, and that's, that's just to protect my peace and protect me, who I am. You know what I'm saying? The reason it took me so long to make this video is because, one, I was never gonna make this video. Uh, I'm not an internet guy, bro. I don't believe in making exposed videos or anything like that because I feel like you're a man, and I'm gonna be honest, bro. If I've ever had a problem with any of these guys, I've always spoke to them in person, bro. I never wanted to be reach out on the internet when yeah, I can just call one of these guys and, and speak to them. And plus, I really don't be having problems with none of these guys. I've never had a problem with Keith. Is my nigga nervous? Why is he doing his shirt like that? My nigga, if you don't unfold him, just like, look at his fingers! Yo, what is going on, bro? This nigga is doing these. You know a nigga. Bro, what is. How the fuck. Bro, chill out for real. This nigga is standing up with his arms in his sleeves. That's a crazy motherfucker. Cam Fredo, like, I've had problems with him in the past, but, like, I don't know, man. The way I move, I push that shit to the side, charge it to the game, because I feel like I'm a man. I'm my own man. Um, I don't let any 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 situation make me feel any type of way. I'm going to be honest, bro. Like, like if somebody's moving a certain type of way, I'm going to move according. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got to address this, man, because I feel like this is a really big thing, and the whole reason I made this video it's because of this. So guys, I personally do not owe anybody money. I don't owe anyone money. I literally do not owe anyone money, all right? I wish you guys knew, but behind the scenes, man, I help all of these guys uh, make money and I work with all of these guys, the old SSH members and uh, even Fredo. Like I've helped in the past make all of these guys money. So I have a really good track record with all of these guys. Everybody in my life have a really good track record. So I don't, I don't owe anybody money. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about is this connotation that everybody says Malik doesn't make videos because he's afraid of uh, Fredo. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The times that I did see this nigga videos, cause I, I, this how, this how I started. Like I said, I don't really keep up with them because I don't watch them. You feel me? I don't find their content like entertaining. But the, when I see stuff, it's because somebody else reacted to it and I see it like that. Not gonna lie though, like. When I when I used to hear, cause I watched the show Bari or whatever his name is, I watched his video when it when it first happened, and they was telling me like how people would just be all like you know dick you you feel me like all on his T and all of that like all on Fredo T and stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, I did thought that the niggas was scared of Fredo. You feel me? I, I did think it. You feel me? I really did. I thought that all of them was scared of that nigga Fredo. I'm not gonna lie. And that right there, that's crazy. Me personally. Get somebody else to do it. And that is very far from the case, bro. No disrespect to the man at all, but I'm not scared of Fredo, bro. Nigga, that's your just twin brother. Let me tell you how many times I didn't argue with this nigga in front of their faces, man. It's been like here, here, and here. You know what I'm saying? Like he arguing, he's going crazy, I'm going crazy. And it never got to that point where we finna squabble or some shit, but I'm just not afraid of the nigga. Anytime I got a problem with him in person, I speak up and I tell him to his face, like, this is going on, this is how it need to be fixed, or boom, boom, or, but I've never been in a situation where I feel like I need to run to the internet to y'all for y'all to help me solve my problem. I never had that. Like, if I have a problem with bro, I address it to him straight to his face. Yeah, you know, straight to his face. Too. That's really why I don't be making these videos, bro, because I find it lame, like, I find it corny, and I, 
I don't got nothing bad to speak on another nigga on the internet. I just don't, bro. Like, and I appreciate y'all having my back. I appreciate y'all supporting me. And like, like, uh, if you have anything to say, speak out. But bro, I promise, man, I'm not a victim, bro. I move my own way. I'm my own boss. I'm my own man. And I move my own way. Y'all see how I move, bro. I'm low key, man. Everybody respects me in my circle. I don't have a problem with anybody. I never had a problem with anybody. I just want my name thrown out of the equation. I'm not trying to throw no nigga under the bus or, or do anything like that. I have to speak for myself at the end of the day and i can't let niggas keep speaking for me and you guys like just believe in whatever you know what i'm saying and it's nothing bad i'm not saying anybody spoke bad on my name i just need y'all to understand who i am and and the way i move this video is for me to speak for myself and for y'all to understand me a little bit more i want to speak on something too bro because i've seen like in a lot of the other videos like y'all are saying uh fredo made y'all not gonna lie this shit boy Get to like what the fuck is the whole like come to, come on man like nigga we six minutes in this shit this trade on made y'all do that i feel like the reason y'all went through that shit is because like y'all might really do like let bro do a little bit too much like you know what i'm saying like you guys gotta have boundaries you know what i'm saying if y'all giving bro all these opportunities to just run over you like that's y'all fault bro y'all can't y'all can't be moving like that you know you gotta move a little bit smarter bro. You gotta put your foot down sometimes like y'all niggas are men bro like these stories are here and they're crazy bro and i'm not saying that it's right to be treated that way or for anybody to treat y'all that way if it's true but what i'm saying is if if it is true Bro, y'all, come on, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta really, y'all gotta get it together, man. Like, y'all gotta move according. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to do something for Fredo or some shit, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Why, why are y'all doing stuff and that y'all? I'm not gonna lie though. That's a lot of people' problems though. A lot of people be doing stuff just because they feel like I gotta do it. Like this, is my homie, I gotta do it. Or they got more than me, I gotta do it. You feel me? Like, no. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Like. Because in the end, if we've been realistic in the end, it's only going to make you look dumb at the end. Like, these niggas who've been getting scammed, like, yes, they was moving with a pure heart. But it's like, sometimes you got to take yourself out of that pure heart, that pure heart stage. And you got to just really look at reality. Like, a lot of these people, they do not be, you feel me, how they said it is. And I had to learn that too, though. You feel me? My nigga out here on the scam, though. My nigga up like five people, though. Ain't no way, nigga. I don't want to do. Also, if you don't got the bread to be like going places and shit, don't go, bro. Um, then this is for everybody. Like, um, don't put yourself in situations where where you trying to keep up with the next man, bro. For don't real. do it. Like, move it, move at life your own pace. Yeah, like that's some uh, real shit. There's an opportunity, but bro, move right. Like with the opportunity, don't just put yourself fully in a hole. Like that's mm -hmm. not smart. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in a position trying to keep up with the next man. Also, I just want to speak that's on this true, editor that's situation. True. I don't have the same editor as Fredo, so I don't know what situation they going through. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can't speak on that situation either because I never even met that guy. I see everything through the same lens that y'all see everything. I don't know what he was doing during that whole situation with that reality TV show. Like, I don't I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I had nothing to do with none of that. Behind the scenes, I be going through my own little problems. I don't really be worried about the next man problems or what bro got going on or what this person got going on bro i don't be in the drama bro i film youtube videos that's I'm what dead. i do man I film youtube videos i run my businesses i take care of my family that's about it besides that you won't hear nothing about malik also to any creator oh i fuck with all y'all like i fuck with everybody man i don't have any bad blood with nobody bro like i don't have any beef in this whole entire world my nigga said leave me out of this i don't want no smoke my boy no smoke Nigga, I ain't forget you as your your hands in your sleeve. Everybody fuck with me, bro. I only got good intentions, bro. I would love to collab. I would love to work with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about the opportunity and when it presents itself. I just clarified a lot of things, man. And as far as me, I'm gonna just. <laughs> y'all probably wonder why I'm laughing. How did it just go from like morning to like damn near evening? This nigga must have edited this video. He thought about some shit like, damn, I forgot to say this. And pick the camera back up and record it. That's so funny. That was funny. That was an insider. If you got it, you got it. Posting and getting back to my regular habits. You know what I'm saying? My regular routine. Because at the end of the day, man, this is a blessing, bro. YouTube is a blessing. I'm just about to start working. Uh, getting back to my normal routine. My normal self. I know y'all boys missed that. I know y'all missed the lit lit videos. And uh, to Fredo, uh, bro, fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but respect for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know the journey we've been through, bro. You already know. You already know how I feel, bro. You know what I'm saying? To this nigga don't feel that way. Look how this nigga talking. You already know. You feel me? Like, this nigga just trying to be peaceful. I feel it, though. That's how you got to be sometimes, though. He like, you already know. I fuck with you, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. That nigga don't even want to say that shit. Like, that shit barely coming out his throat. Damn, Keith Barney, all my other friends, everybody, bro. Y'all know how I feel about y'all, too, man. It's all love uh, to the supporters. It's all love. I love y'all so much, man. Thank you for, for this amazing journey to everyone, bro. Like, it's all love, bro. It's all love. I hope everybody uh, has amazing 2023. I actually feel better now that I made this video because it clears up so much of uh, the cloudiness, you know what I'm saying? It's been so many clouds, you know? And if there's any more clouds, I will address them because I feel like that is needed. I don't like not speaking my side of things because I see how it turns out. Like, y'all don't like it either. Y'all want me to speak my side on things, so. I hope this cleared up a lot of stuff. I got a lot of good, good things coming, man. I've been working on a lot of stuff. I've been working on a lot, a lot of things in the background, bro, that I, I can't wait to show y'all. Make sure y'all comment in the comment section how y'all feel, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I, I'll leave it all on the table, you know? I don't have anything to hide with my life. Make sure y'all chat with me in the comment section, man. I will be in the comment section. I love y'all, and that's the end of the video. Sheesh! I'm not gonna lie. You can definitely tell that he he don't want to be a no drama. He want to just do his own stuff. We like people like that. People like that, we got to respect. You feel me? We definitely got to respect. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can tell, like, he really just dolo. Like, he really just doing his own stuff, trying to stay out the way. That nigga Fredo, man. This nigga really done dug himself in a hole. Like, damn, nigga. All his whole, for him to have, like, a group, his whole group just left his ass because he want to do extra. That's why when you get a group or you get a team or something and you, and you the one that's the money person, like, treat your people right. Because at some point, what's done in the dark will come to the light. And that's that on that. I don't care about what nobody say. But, y'all, that's going to be wrapped for this video. Make sure y'all give this video two thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn y'all post notifications on so you guys know if I fit every single video. Let me know in the comment section down below, like, what y'all thinking. Like, y'all y'all like this, like, video that he did? Like, did he lie? Did he tell the truth? Did they have beef? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Chat with me down below. But without further ado, y'all, will see y'all next video. And I'm out, y'all. Peace. Way, we're on our way. We're on our way.